Hey YouTube! Ah! <laughs> right guys, um, this is my second video on Promances, like um, specific types. Um, but before I start, I'd just like to thank Naomi Calf. Um, pretty sure you were right about what the other one was, the Cameroon Stick Mantis. I've got it here. Um, Popper. God, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Popper. Spursa Crassa, Papa Spursa Crassa, my Cameroon Stick Mantis. Um, yeah, so thanks for that. Um, but I'll get right on to the point today. We're looking at these. So this is the King Rainforest or Giant Rainforest Mantis. Um, this is one of my favourites. Absolutely glorious. Um, I think it's got maybe another one, two sheds before full size. This is a female, you can tell. You look at his butt. Um, segmentation is a lot finer at the end of the male, so they have lots of little segments. But just look how glorious she is. She's pretty fat, so I'm not going to feed her on camera. Um, so this is the Australian King Rainforest Mantis, or Giant Rainforest Mantis, or Herodula Majuscula, now again pronunciation, Herodula Majuscula, I believe, but not certain. Um, so with all of the big promances, um, temperament is great, because obviously they're not scared of a lot. They're happy to eat off your hand, happy to walk around on your hand. Um, they're just, you know, all the big mantises are great. Now the advantage over this, uh, the advantage of this over say your Madagascan marbled mantis or your giant Asian mantis if you look at the forearms they have really really big forearms and so when you have the little nymphs of some of the other large large types of mantises they still have small little arms so they can only go for small prey um, now I've got somewhere here some little nymphs of these jungle mantises and what you'll notice is that they got big arms on them, big forelegs um, even when they're young, which means, I will grab one for you in a minute, I'm just trying not to hassle this girl, um, it means that they can take large prey when they're small, and when I say large prey, I mean small crickets still, but at the same stage that other prey mantises would be on fruit flies, these guys can take small crickets, um, which means they boost in growth, they grow very, very fast compared to some of the other ones. I mean, I've not had these for long, let me have a quick look, see if I can find one of the others. Um, here you are, so this one, as you can see, is a teeny little fellow, um, but arms, look at the arms, I mean it reminds me of when you got some of the small mantis breeds like the flower mantises, um, who have the big, big build at the front, um, even for a small size. Um, I mean, look at this girl, she's absolutely stunning. Um, they've got really, really nice colours on their legs, if you can see the inside of the legs. Um, I've got a male and a female, and then I've got a whole bunch of little nymphs. Um, like I say, she ate yesterday, um, so I'm not going to be feeding her again. Um, let's just pop her back. She's, uh... um, so, keeping them similar to other types uh, what you'll find is that these guys are obviously from the jungle so you want them a little bit warmer maybe 24 degrees at, you know over room temperature a bit more than room temperature I mean you don't need to heat mat it um, if you've got a hot house that'll be fine I don't have a heat mat for these guys um, although during the winter they did um, but just a little bit warmer obviously from the rainforest so you want to give them a spray every day rather than every other day um, the other thing you can do is give them a thick layer of substrate, make sure it's slightly damp. But again, with all Promances, um, key is the ventilation. Look at that, having a little clean. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, they've got great character, these ones as well. Big eyes, as you can see. I know they've all got big eyes, but just... I don't know, there's something about them. Great Mantis. I mean, I'm pretty much probably going to say in every one of my videos, Oh, this is one of my favourite Mantis. I think I just have an obsession with praying mantises. Um, I've got probably well over three, four hundred of them at the moment. 
Um, I've got a whole bunch of Chinese nymphs that hatched recently, um, which will be ready to go at some point. Madagascar marbled nymphs, I've got loads of. Um, I've got flower mantises breeding. I've got moss mantises coming in in three weeks. Now they are extremely rare. Oh, that's a little jump. That's pretty cool. Um, moss mantises. Um, as far as I can tell, I will be the only person in the UK with them. Um, there's one person in Europe who's got some, but they're not for sale at the moment. Um, so I have someone I know going to Malaysia, I believe, to see if they can get some. Um, and I will try and breed those and get some good videos for you. I mean, these are teeny little things that I'm talking about, um, and they have to be grown on live moss or they have to live on live moss so they're a little bit more complicated but they should look amazing um but i mean that's pretty much it it's the same as most of the other mantises this guy will or this girl will easily take let me get a bit she'll easily take an adult dubia when she's uh when she's full sized let me just grab a bit um i mean I'm obviously handling my mantises, you don't have to handle your mantises, I don't think they enjoy it, they just tend to potter about, but like I say, these ones are pretty good for handling, because they're not not afraid of everything, doing a little trademark wobble there, um, but yeah, they're just a great one to have, I feel like, maybe not the very first mantis you go for, just because of the humidity and the heat, um, but they're hardy, obviously they can take food, it's pretty large, they're a pretty easy keep. Um, I mean, if anything, the only ones I'd probably steer away from, I don't know what she's doing with her leg, oh there you go. The only real mantises I'd steer away from for first time keepers would be, again, like the moss mantis that I was talking about, apparently they're an absolute nightmare to keep. Um, I had some cryptics at one point, and uh, you know, they were fine, but they're pretty hassly. Um, a couple of the really skinny ones is uh, something gargoyle. Um, but yeah, these guys are pretty pretty tame, pretty good to go with, pretty easy. Um, they look amazing. They're one of the biggest ones. I think they get up to about 75 mil, so 7.5 centimetres. Um, that's a bit bigger than Lloyd is at the moment. Lloyd is pretty fucking massive. Um, these guys are a little bit bigger than giant Asians. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, Naomi, thank you. And keep watching the videos, that'd be great. Um, and anyone new to the videos... Uh, subscribe will be cool don't if you don't want to you know it's free it's a free world do what you want but I hope you enjoyed oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh god what's wrong with me alright oh, girl you can go back in your house get on your Stop hassling you. God, you're so fat. No, you gotta go in.